Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the monthly edition of the Guest House Show. I am Art Sims, Assistant House Manager and Community Relations Manager for Guest House, and I'm very excited to be here tonight because we are celebrating Black History Month, and we're talking about the importance of volunteerism. And so tonight, I have the honor and pleasure of welcoming one of our volunteers at the Guest House. She is a senior marketing consultant, speaker and mindset coach. So this should be a really great conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, the one and only Miss Carolyn S. Fraser. How are you? Happy Black History Month. Thank you, All right. Thank you, Guest House, for having me. Happy it is, Black History Month. Yes, it is a pleasure to have you here. Uh, when I contacted you, I told you, I said, I wanted to talk about the importance of African Americans in the field of medicine, yeah. as well as in the field of health care. And you agreed to be here with us this evening. I'm so excited. Please tell everybody a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get into our conversation. Well, again, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I have been a marketing consultant for over 20 plus years. I own and operate the PR shop and integrated marketing communications firm, as well as what you said, I am also a mindset coach because I think that it is extremely important to get your mind right because that keeps you on the straight and narrow. Absolutely. And, and I think it's a really good conversation, yeah. uh, not only for the beginning of the year, not only for Black History Month, but you're right. If people don't have a good mindset, then it, you're in shambles most of the time. And, you know, at Guest House, we believe in helping people to be healthy, whole and complete yes. while they're staying with us. Yes. And so, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for being a volunteer. You and I were out at an event. I was telling you all about Guest House, and the next thing I know, you became a volunteer for us. And I think that is just so noble. How did you even, uh, yeah. has the spirit of volunteerism been in your soul for a long time? Absolutely. I have just naturally always been a giver, a generous person. I care about humankind. I care about contributing to the world. Mm -hmm. And when you told me about Guest House, what you don't know is that last year I made a personal commitment to show up more because as an entrepreneur, right, mm -hmm. life can life and there's lots of things to do. But I said, I'm going to have to stop making excuses mm -hmm. and make time to make impact. So when you told me about that and, you know, I remember I said, oh, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. That was it. Right. right. And yes. then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I sent you a text like, mm -hmm. hey, are you here? I'm mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm at Guest House. Mm -hmm. But I really wanted to be intentional about showing up, stepping outside of myself. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And serving others. Very good. Well, for those of you all that are just joining us and you might be saying, what is Guest House? Where is Guest House? We are a temporary lodging facility for those that are going through medical treatment here in the Chicagoland area. Our address is 1933 West Polk. But I always tell people our vanity address is 809 South Damon, because they go, where is it? It's the southeast corner, corner of Polk and Damon. We offer 45 apartments, one and two bedroom units that people are able to stay in when they're going through critical medical treatment. That meaning you have to have several appointments within a week. You have to have certain conditions that you know would qualify for you to stay with us. And we're all referral based. So you have to be referred by someone on the medical team or a social worker. And we start at $72 a night for people to stay with us, but we also offer financial assistance as well too. So we've had people who have stayed with us as little as a few nights to people that have been with us over a year. It just depends on what the treatment uh, calls for and how often you have to go to the doctor. Well, Carolyn, I wanted to take a few moments to acknowledge Africans, uh, African Americans who have made a difference. I'm talking to her this evening. It's you. Uh, that, that is causing me that. It, right, know. I'm so nervous. You're That's making it. Impact. Thank you. Right. And I'm used to doing this. I, I digress. But I wanted to acknowledge Mr. Daniel Hill Williams. He was the first African-American surgeon and the founder of Provident Hospital. Yeah. In 1891, Providence Hospital was the first non-segregated hospital in the United States. Providence Hospital also had a wonderful nursing program okay. that allowed so many African-Americans to go into nursing, as well as Dr. Williams was the first African-American to complete a successful heart surgery. Mm -hmm. 
And at Guest House, we do care for a lot of people who are heart transplant mm -hmm. uh, patients. And so I thought, wow, how great to honor someone like him. We are currently experiencing quite a few people who are going through heart mm -hmm. transplants with our amazing partner ho partnering hospitals here in Chicago. So I just thought, how wonderful is that? What do you think it's about amazing. the strides that we've made as African Americans in healthcare? Uh, I think that African Americans have made absolutely amazing strides, especially mm -hmm. considering things that, you know, we have to stand up against, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that Guest House has done some amazing things for its patients. You mentioned heart, heart care. Mm -hmm. For me, the heart is so, imp is so important and mm -hmm. being connected to the heart, right? Mm -hmm. That 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 keeps you going. That keeps your blood flowing. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Guest House for really putting an emphasis of love and care. Like every time that I volunteer and I see those patients, my heart just melts for them, and the impact is amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I do want to talk a little bit more about volunteerism yeah. and trying to get more people to volunteer. Yeah. Uh, my entire mission, the year of 2024, is uh, this is the year of all things epic. Okay. And a lot of times when I talk to people about volunteering, they go, oh, yeah, I'll get to it. Oh, I'll think about it. And I want to actually let this audience as well as other people know that volunteering is really not that bad. It's very easy. It's very simple. Can you talk to us about what your experience was like when you first came to Guest House to volunteer? Yeah. So again, as I shared, I had to make, I had to set an intention to say, mm -hmm. I need to show up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had to have a serious conversation with myself. Mm -hmm. But for me, because of the lifestyle that I lead and, you know, the business that I have, I didn't want to get into a situation where I was just kind of volunteering for the sake of it. I really wanted to be connected, mm -hmm. connected to the cause. So when I spoke with Jan at Guest House, she shared just the different ways to contribute and to serve and to mm -hmm. support Guest House. Mm -hmm. And all of those different options, uh, one was serving, helping to serve food, helping to cook food, uh, also like writing cards, mm -hmm. different things mm -hmm. where I said, you know, my handwriting ain't all that great. <laughs> so I don't That's want right. so I, so I, I don't right. want to scare the guests. Right. But for me, <laughs> coming from a culture mm -hmm. where we share love through our food. That's right. Right? That's right. I felt like that was an automatic connection for me. Mm -hmm. And Guest House made it so easy for me to show up. They're extremely organized mm -hmm. with planning. I remember when, you know, we volunteered to serve, we planned our meal like two months out. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know? Yes. I want to give a major shout out to the Guest House team. We're a very small team, but we're a mighty team. And Jan Crochelle is our uh, manager yeah. of uh, volunteers. And Jan does a great job. I, I tell people the Jane Wright community room is Jan's home away yeah. from home. And she does a great job job of organizing it, bringing people in. Uh, I'll look around mm -hmm. and there are 20, 30 people in the room trying to make things happen. Next thing you know, the room is back to peaceful and quiet. Yeah, yeah. And so I have to give her tremendous credit for what she does. Director, if you could, I'd like to put some pictures up now so we could talk about uh, some of the exciting things that have happened at Guest House uh, every Black History Month. This is the, the Black Foodies, along with my sister who has an egg roll company. This was our Black History celebration last year. This was at our gala, uh, which this year we'll be celebrating 25 years. That's myself and my good friend who she's been volunteering and helping us out. Uh, our director of development, Dion Nicole Smith, talking with one of our former colleagues, Jackie. Uh, this is students who come in. And what's so beautiful about Guest House is we welcome people of all cultures, all backgrounds. We have arts and craft night. We have bingo night. Uh, this again was our Black History celebration where we had Chicago restaurants that donated food uh, so people could get a taste of what Chicago had to offer. This is Jan, one of our wonderful veterans. Uh, you just would be surprised. Here are some of our veterans picking up food to I go back it. to their room. Uh, some of our other people, that's my dear friend Tanya, who was a social worker that has passed away. And people are just always coming by to give us goodies and gifts. And this is one of our former guests here that we just love her 
from Rockford. And mm-hmm. so, you know, this is not just a, a, a place to go to work every day. This is a place of love, happiness, and peace. And just see the beautiful multicultural faces that come through really is touching in so many different ways. And then you brought your mom yes. to volunteer. I love your mama. I do. Your, your mama is beautiful. She's funny. Let's talk about how you ended up, oh, and happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Thank you. Thank and you, you thank actually you. encouraged your girlfriends to come and be a part of that. Let's talk about your mom and girlfriends coming to help. Yeah. So again, uh, after I set the intention of showing up and mm-hmm. spent a couple of times uh, coming to guest house and just serving, mm-hmm. helping to serve food, mm-hmm. I said, okay, I am ready to not only serve, but also to prepare to, mm-hmm. to cook to cook a meal. Very good. And I wanted to I wanted to honor my culture. Yes. Uh, you know, I feel like I have the best of both worlds because I'm both African American and I'm Caribbean. Yes, I know. Spice, right? <laughs> spicy. Yes, very. So, yes. So I wanted to honor my Guyanese culture and to introduce that mm-hmm. to the guest house community. Sure. And Invited my mom to come down because my mom is the OG, yes, right? She is. Even yes, though she I was. am connected yes. to the culture, my right. mom is the culture. Uh, asked her to come down, mm-hmm. flew her in, mm-hmm. and then also thought about uh, who here in Chicago would be not only uh, willing to help, right, right. Mm-hmm. but also inspired because it's fairly easy to get your girls, right? Mm-hmm. Or to get your friends to say, hey, come help me out. And they may do it because they may feel, you know, pressured, a, right. a cute little guilty pressure. Yes. But I knew exactly who I wanted to come and to help serve mm-hmm. and to serve from the heart. And, you know, in honor of Valentine's Day, shout out to my girls, shout out to my mom. Mm-hmm. And we came and we served. You did. With you love. Did. Yes, you did. You did a great job. Uh, we're still talking about the wonderful lo mein that was made. Yes. I, I, I need to find out what was the secret to that lo mein. The chicken was amazing, <laughs> everything. But what I thought was so beautiful is that, you know, when you do come to volunteer at Guest House, if you want to do a cultural meal or a culturally uh, themed dinner, yeah. as we would say, uh, you had music. You danced, you you did everything, and I thought it was just so beautifully done. And so, you know, that's what I want to encourage people that, you know, if you want to celebrate a culture, if you want to celebrate uh, your co-workers and your team coming together to volunteer for us, it does not matter. It does not matter your race, creed, or color. It's a matter of you want to give from your heart and you want to do something. Let's talk about doing the actual meal, because when I talk to people, I think they think, you know, a thousand dinners and... and uh, what was it like? Was it hard? What was the experience? You know. Yeah. Well, I I will say disclaimer. I am a natural planner, just mm-hmm. due to so being a business yes. owner. Yes. Um. Again, I would advise anyone who is interested in guest house to maybe dip your toe in by helping to serve first, so mm-hmm. you can see what the process is like. Yes. And then once you understand the process, typically. You know, I believe that guest house serves between like 40 to 50 guests sure. at a mm-hmm. time on average. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, look, and me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we right. always make sure that yeah. we make extra yeah. for the staff. Um, but for us, again, we wanted to introduce our culture mm-hmm. in a way that everyone could enjoy it. Right. Because with Guyanese food, it can be spicy. Mm-hmm. But we wanted to make sure that everyone could enjoy it. So we planned three dishes. So we didn't have 15 different options. We Mm -hmm. had three dishes that we prepared. And just for me, the process of having people who I love come to help me prepare the food in Mm -hmm. a clean environment Mm -hmm. and with love was everything. But it was very, it was seamless Mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of planning. And then the guest house team was able to meet us at the door to help us transport everything up to the room. Very good. Well, that's what we're there for. We're there not only to support our guests, but also to welcome our volunteers, to make them feel comfortable, to give any help that is needed. Uh, The good thing about who we are and where we are, we do provide a facility that is large enough. We try to provide what, you know, needed necessities or tools, you know, to make it happen. So I'm very excited to, you know, not only have you come back as a volunteer, but to also encourage other people to want to volunteer as well. 
well, too. Uh, you may be saying at this particular point in this interview, how do I get connected with Guest House? You can always reach us via our website, which is on the ticker down below, guesthousechicago.org. We're located right here in Chicago. But I also want to emphasize to people, this is not, you know, a, a, it is a global thing, but we embrace people from right here in the neighborhood. It might be a challenge for you to get back and forth to multiple doctor's appointments during the week. Uh, we're here to be able to help you to get closer to those doctor's appointments. We partner with amazing hospitals, uh, John H. Stroger Hospital, Rush Hospital, uh, UI Health, as well as University of Chicago Hospital. Uh, we have a wonderful veterans program through Rush Hospital, uh, the Road Home Program. Uh, I myself work on Sundays to make sure the veterans are able to check in, yes. welcome them to Chicago. I consider myself an ambassador of the city, so I offer them wonderful tourist things to do as well as if they want to try authentic food, I let them know where it is in the area. So, you know, it, it's amazing of all of my years in media, my extensive career. Full circle. Full circle. And actually, this has been the best circle. And so oh I'm gosh. really excited about that. What do you think we can do to try to get more people to volunteer, Carolyn? What, what do you think it'll take? You know, I mean, you tell people, you ask people, and they kind of, well, but what do you think we can do? You, you, you're you in the business of making right, people do Right, things. right, right, right. Yes. I was going to say, as a media professional, for, for me, it's always about telling your story, mm -hmm. telling your experience. Yes. So for me, after I got a taste of Guest House, you know, you can't keep me quiet now. I am always telling folks about Guest House. I am sharing, but telling stories, good stories, right? Mm -hmm. Of the amazing things that Guest House is doing. Uh, sharing about your experience. If you've served with Guest House before, share about your experience. Even something as simple as if you follow Guest House on social media, sharing a post. That's right. Right? That's right. And and really, again, just stepping outside of yourself and understanding that even if I volunteer once a quarter, mm -hmm. it's making a difference because the more people who step up to volunteer, even if it's, you know, once every, every few months, mm -hmm. the more people that does it the more success Guest House will have, the more people are impacted and served. Mm -hmm. And we only need a few hours of your time. It's yep. not like you have to give, you know, eight hours, 12 hours. You know, I know some people say, oh, I just love to volunteer, but it turned into a job. No, we, we don't want to take away from any of the things that you do on a normal basis. But if you do want to volunteer and give, we would love to have a few hours of your time. Uh, things as easy and simple as baking cookies, doing breakfast bags, helping to serve our guests. Uh, some people even want to donate and give things, puzzles, books. Yeah. Uh, you know, all of that is very much welcome and needed. Um, you know, of course, always donations are wonderful, but we're not here to solicit for that at all. But we're just here to tell people that whatever your heart feels as if you want to do and can do, you should do. And we would be very happy to be a recipient at Guest House. And, and, yes. and Art is on staff, so he can say that you're not here to solicit, but I am telling you all, <laughs> as someone who supports the Guest House, if all you can do is donate monetarily, do that too, because it counts as well. That's right. We're on Instagram at Guest House Chicago. Please follow us on Instagram. We do post uh, practically, if not every day, every other day. Uh, we're on Facebook as Guest House Foundation. We ask that you please follow us there. Very easy and simple. Uh, we're going to be creating new content in 2024, as well as I'm working on trying to have a streaming show okay. when guests check in. So that they're able to learn the who, what, when, and where of not only Guest House, but Chicago while they're staying with us. So, oh, I yes, I idea. think that's a great idea as well, too. Carolyn, as we continue to move forth in Black History Month and, and we've just, you know, had the uh, Super Bowl where we saw Usher do an amazing performance. The Grammys was the week before. And, you know, we as African-Americans have made tremendous strides in this world. What powerful message today, God forbid, was your last day on mm -hmm. earth, what would you want to leave as your legacy, as, mm -hmm. as something that you did to make a difference in the life of others? Oh, I love that. So initially, I was just going to say show up unapologetically. 
which, you know, that stands for itself. However, I want to dig a little, a little bit deeper, especially since, uh, you know, we're talking about volunteerism, we are talking about Black History Month and impact. And I just want to say that helping others, standing, stepping outside of yourself mm -hmm. to help others, to show love, to give support, to put yourself in someone else's shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just don't do that. Mm -hmm. Do, do that. Do that. Be, do be that. uncomfortable. Be, be uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yes. Deliberately and, be uncomfortable. And when I close my eyes, when I leave this earth, I truly want to leave a legacy of generosity. I want people to say that, you know, Carolyn, whew, Carolyn mm -hmm. was committed to helping others because we cannot do this alone. No, we cannot. We cannot. It I know takes sometimes me, it yes. takes you, it takes us, it takes humanity to come together and make a difference for all mankind. And I don't think people really understand that. I think we live in a world now where everything is about me, 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 me because of social media, because of just the hype in this world. But when you really think about it, when you are sick yes. and don't know where your next paycheck may be right. coming from, or you may need some where to stay or whatever the case may be, you'd be surprised about how if you galvanize with other people, yeah. it makes a difference. And that's why my mission is to reach out to as many people in our community that would want to help and give back. Absolutely. And here's the deal. There's no pressure. Yeah. There's no pressure whatsoever. Yeah. It's all about love, happiness, and good energy. That's the way I see it. And when you empower others, you empower yourself. You really end up helping yourself a lot more. Mm -hmm. Because again, when you step outside of your life and your world, and you expand and increase your love and support to others, mm -hmm. people notice that. Mm -hmm. And that can open up many, many doors That's for right. opportunities and possibilities as well. So again, step outside of yourself. It's mm -hmm. not always about us. No. Again, even if it's once a quarter, That's once right. a month, That's step right. outside of yourself and you will be shocked at the possibilities that it creates for you. That's right. And I also want to put a call of action out to restaurant owners. Uh, you may have food that you might want to give that cannot stay around and it's still great, wonderful, fresh food. I love that. Uh, we're more than happy to figure out how to pick that food up and be able to give it to our guests. Uh, you may be some Someone who says, you know what, I can sponsor a meal next month. How much would a meal cost? Make sure you reach out to us and we'll tell you how much a meal costs. You may want to stay anonymous. You may want to come with family and friends and do the meal. Whatever the case may be, I know we're going to increase our meals to Tuesday and Thursday, okay. which is really great. And, and I love the fact that we have food of so many different cultures and backgrounds. And I, I, I love it. I, I really do. So, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And our guests love it as well, too. And a lot of people may say, well, Art, you know, a lot of the guests may not be able to eat the meals. But keep in mind, these people have families who come with them. Uh, I have a, a, a beautiful niece now by the name of Kayla. Mm -hmm. And she, Kaylin, and she lives four hours away way. Her family has to get up in the middle of the night to drive to Chicago for her dad to have medical treatment. And so when her family comes to stay, it's like my family now. Her mom likes to cook. Her grandmother likes to cook and give us food. And so it's just one big family. And it's people who really don't even know each other that come together and become yeah. a family. And it's all through trying to get better, feel better, and do better. And I yeah. just think it's the most amazing thing ever. And to add to to that the love is definitely there to your point you know not only the guests at guest house are impacted but it's also their family that's right and the last time that uh, myself and my team served we um, met up with we, we met someone mm -hmm. and long story short we just had such a connection and he actually contributed to a nonprofit that I work with See? because of the love that I share. See, that's how it all works. We want to remind everyone that if you do want to get in touch with us, it's guesthousechicago.org. Down on the ticker below, please, please follow us, support us, find us. Facebook, Guest House Foundation. On Instagram, it is Guest House Chicago on X or formerly Twitter. Uh, you can find us there as well, too. And we want to remind everyone that we have an amazing gala coming up 
April 15th, which is tax day. Our gala is the house always wins. And this year it'll be at Carnival. For more information about that, please go to guesthousechicago.org. On behalf of the entire team at Guest House and my wonderful good friend right here who stepped up and not only volunteered once, twice, but she even sponsored a dinner. And that's what it's all about, bringing your friends in. Carolyn, thank you so much. You, happy Black History Month. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. And happy Valentine's Aww. Day tomorrow, my friend. Thank you. I love you. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for watching this evening. Please continue to support Guest House. GuestHouseChicago.org is where you can find us. Until next time, be happy, be well, be blessed, and we'll see you the next time around. Good night.